what's up YouTube on today's video I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we warm up monster this is a five pound chain and we're only gonna let him use it for about five minutes but within those five minutes we want to make sure he's moving around and being active that way he actually uses that weight also it's very important to encourage your dog as you're working them good boy basically you're letting them know that they're performing the task correctly also, I want to mention, this boy is out of shape. He hasn't been getting the one-on-one -on -one time he deserves due to the puppies that hit the ground about 10 weeks ago. Anybody that's been following us for a while know that we had a litter of pups. So if he starts breathing heavy right off the bat, you guys already know why he's out of shape. But we're going to change that here in the next couple of months. I'm going to start putting in more work towards this boy, slim him down, and also get those mothers back into shape. Good boy. Also, this is a perfect example of the breathing. You guys can hear the airways, the way he breathes. He's not snoring, so he's got good airways, gets good oxygen in. I have been asked a few questions how my dogs perform when they're tired, if they sound like lawnmowers or not. Well, you guys can hear him. That's pretty much it right there. Not too bad for a 70-pound bulldog that's out of shape, right? Also, one thing I do want to recommend when you guys are working your bulldogs with weights is go ahead and rub some coconut oil on their paws for a good two or three minutes. That way their paws are nice and moisturized and they're not cracked or dry and causing cracks, especially on the cement or on gravel. Grass, not too bad, as long as it's moisturized and wet. But if it's not, I really recommend you guys hit that coconut oil on their paws. Also, if you guys made it this far, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We got close to a thousand subscribers, and I feel like we just don't get enough thumbs up on the videos. So please show us your support by hitting that thumbs up. And also, we really appreciate all the subscribers, all 1,000 of you guys. Early celebration. Appreciate you guys. And I think we're definitely going to be giving something away on this thousand mark. Not sure what it is, but stay tuned. Hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the comments. And we'll definitely choose a winner on the comment section. We also have an Instagram. So you guys can please show your support on there too. We got about 40 something followers. And we're really trying to reach that 100 mark. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is we plan on making videos on the weekly. We just want to get the same day and the same time every week. That way you guys can know when to expect our videos. So if you guys could go ahead and drop it on the comments what day and what time works best for you guys and then we'll round up a day and a time that works best for everybody and we don't have to keep you guys guessing when we're going to drop the next video that way you guys will already know when to tune in and we could all live an organized and smoother life also i'm gonna go ahead and drop a little photo shoot of this boy's nephew the available pups here at the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. The Merles and the boys are looking amazing already. They're all hitting 13, 14, up to 16 pounds, and they're only 10 weeks. So if you guys want a monster like this monster right here, by the way, his name is Monster, go ahead and purchase one of them last four pups. They're going for 3K. Some got blue eyes, some got light green eyes, light brown eyes. Man, those dogs are looking amazing. I might mess around and convince my lady to keep one. But I just don't see that conversation going well since we need more females to keep the program going. So back to working your dog with the chain. You want to keep a close eye on him. Make sure he's not looking too sluggish. You don't want to mess up his movements. And as you guys can see, this boy's movements are starting to slow down. You guys can see he's getting a bit winded. And this is why we're just going to hit him with five minutes today. As he progresses and starts getting into better shape, We'll start exceeding the amount of time that he plays with the chain to so about 10 minutes and then 15 minutes. 15 minutes should be good enough. I see a lot of breeders that work their dogs with weights. They typically work them for about 15 minutes and I think that should be good enough since later on that same day, we're gonna go ahead and give him a 45 minute walk. So we'll have his chain workouts early in the day and then later in the evening, he'll have his walk. Also make sure you guys are giving them plenty of rest Make sure on the days that they don't work, that they're eating good, giving them a good balanced diet. We're going to go ahead and give this boy some kibble, but also throw some raw in his meals. But that's about it for his five minute first workout. As you guys can see, the boy's looking tired. You got to make sure you know your dog. 
make sure you don't have them overheat. I'm not saying that my dogs have overheating problems, but you best believe every dog has its breaking point. And you just got to know your dog and know when it's that breaking point. And you don't want to push it or exceed from it. Especially bulldogs. They have this drive where they don't really know how to slow it down or turn it off. So it's us as responsible owners to know when to slow it down for our dogs. Know when to turn off the switch. Don't ever think your dog is indestructible. I don't care what breed you have. You could have an American Pit Bull Terrier. Even though they're the closest thing to indestructible, they also have bone and flesh like the rest of us. So take care of them dogs, people. Until the next one, peace.